Who has my binder full of full of full of jokes? Have you seen my binder full of jokes? You? No? Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the one and only Dr. Jacqueline Damage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages, and we're coming to you from the greatest city in the world, New York City. New York! New York City is so great that while our neighbor, Long Island, was hosting the presidential debate, a Bangladeshi immigrant was trying to blow up the Federal Reserve Building here what? in Manhattan. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. The 21 year old Mohammed Nafis told undercover agents that he wanted to wreck the U.S. economy and stop the presidential election. <laughs> These immigrants, eh? they don't read the news, they don't follow the news. New York subway is full of beggars and homeless people. <laughs> they, what else does this naive need to see before he understands that the U.S. economy is already a wreck? <laughs> no? As far as stopping the presidential election, he was targeting the wrong bank. If you want Mitt Romney to quit the presidential election, you have to look at aiming your target on the Swiss bank. That's where he keeps his money. <laughs> so how many of you watched last Tuesday's second presidential debate? Yeah, yeah. Barack bin Obama is back. Mm. Mitt Romney came to the debate with binders full of women. <laughs> but ba Barack came with binders full of zingers. Watch. I, I, I want to make sure we get that for the record, because it took the president 14 days before he called the attack in Benghazi an act of terror. Get the transcript. It, 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 he did, in, in fact, sir. So let me, let me call it an act of Can terror. Can you say that a little louder, Candy? He, he did <laughs> call it an act of terror. Days after the debate, people are still wondering, how did Obama get back his mojo? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will reveal what happened here today. After the first debate, Obama tapped into his African connection. <laughs> oh yeah, he went home. <laughs> Don't act as if you didn't understand what happened in the first debate. What really happened was that Mitt Romney brought all the Mormon voodoo and threw them on Obama. He opened the secrets in the Book of Mormons and all of them pew, on Obama. But Obama took a secret visit to this African witch doctor. Watch. <laughs> so after after meeting the witch doctor, Romney's spell were all nullified and dispersed. Wow. So now Romney is back to being his usual self, which is an empty suit. <laughs> I don't need to see the third debate on Monday. I already know who is going to win this election. And it's going to be the man called Joe. He's a television advert executive who lives in Ohio. <laughs> Talking about comebacks, Mrs. Patience Jonathan, the first lady of Nigeria, has returned to Abuja. After 60 day vacation in Germany, she landed at Nam Dezuki Way International Airport, Abuja. Multitude of people came, governors, women group. To welcome her back she looked marvelous right at the airport she told the media that she did not go abroad for cosmetic surgery what? you see i told you guys i said so the man called cosmo surgery only came to her while she was abroad <laughs> <laughs> president jonathan was so happy to behold his wife after such a long time oh yeah he showed his joy in the way he hugged her. Oh. Good luck, Jonathan. Would have held her tighter, but the wires used in tying her tummy together has not, they've not been taken out. <laughs> so that's why the, the hug looked awkward. <laughs> Since she arrived on Wednesday, several things have changed in Abuja. Here are the top 10 changes noted in Abuja since Mrs. Jonathan arrived. Number 10, the president's binder full of women have now been thrown into River Niger. <laughs> <laughs> Number 9, Ruben Abati has returned to his kitchen assignments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
Number eight, President Jonathan's name is now added on the list of those who need disaster relief. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, since her return, Nigeria has once again returned its place as a center of medical excellence. Mm. Even the German Chancellor is now on the waiting list for patients who are looking for treatment at the National Hospital in Abuja. Whoa. Oh yeah. Number six, the Jamaican Minister of Culture has canceled her planned official visit to Nigeria. <laughs> Number five, since patients return, Nigerians have once again become the happiest people in the world. Yeah. Taking back that top spot from Germany. <laughs> Number four, to deal with social media assaults on the first lady, the publisher of the online news site, Point Blank News, Mr. Jackson Ude, has been named the first lady's new press secretary. Yeah. Number three, an amendment to the 2013 budget has been sent to the National Assembly to take care of prayer warriors who scraped their knees while praying and fasting for the First Lady. Oh yeah, you have to take care of them. Number two, to reduce stress, the governor of Bielsa State has promoted Mrs. Patience Jonathan from a permanent secretary to Bielsa State's ambassador to Abuja. Mm -hmm. And the number one thing that changed is that according to the National Association of Umbrella Sellers, sales of umbrellas have doubled since patients returned. <laughs> we now know that the flooding that occurred in 22 states in Nigeria displaced thousands and thousands of people. So many people are now living in empty town halls, classrooms. Pregnant women are having babies on the floor. At one camp, people refuse to sing and pray with visiting pastors because they have not been given food to eat. In fact, some people are beginning to say that Awolo has returned with his starvation policy. But that is just one way of looking at it. Senator Anduba thinks that the whole flooding is satanic. Mm -hmm. I think Wonder Boy Andy may be onto something here. I understand that people in one community are rejoicing because this flooding drowned thousands of thousands of idols and great juju from shrines that have been there for thousands of years have been destroyed. And they believe that this is what is holding their people back. This transformation is wonderful. And you can see an example in the life of one man, Majek Fashek. Mm. Now, here is Majek before the flooding. Mm. Here is Majek after the flooding. Hey. <laughs> transformation. A love letter. What a da, what a da love letter. What a da, what a da hey. It's time for your huh? Email. Thank you. Our first email is from Eki M. G. Jr. He wrote, My name is Eki M. G. Jr. I want to know your view about this flood issue taking over all parts of southern Nigeria. It's a very bad thing that we have over 50 universities in the nation. Still, we cannot produce a good engineer that can must draw a master plan for our land. Shame on us. <laughs> Iki or Eki, whatever you call yourself, if you have something you want to tell me, talk to me. Come out straight. Don't be sneaky. I understand. I know. I used to be an engineer. I'm speaking for engineers. I know that we have the designs. We just don't have the... We've not been flooded with petrol dollars. We need to do the construction. That's the problem. Nonsense. Our second email is from Jaffa. Gali from an undisclosed location. Ha <laughs> ha, Jaffa, you again. And he wrote, Dr. Damages, do you think the long awaited product, iPatients 2.0, will ever get out of the factory floor in Germany? If it did come out, how much do you think it will cost me to obtain one? <laughs> Jaffa, Jaffa, you should be ashamed of yourself. What happened to your TV? Didn't you see? the new product, the marvelous product that came back on Wednesday, full of kindness, decency, and love. I joined patients in asking God to forgive you and people like you 
enemies of progress. By the way, <laughs> to get iPatients 2.0, to open your girlfriend's hair salon, you now need to pay her with two oil blocks. That's official. Our third email is from Jim George from Portacot. He said, Dear Dr. Damages, you are full of treachery and treason. You are not patriotic, not loyal to your country. Just wait till I become the president of Nigeria. <laughs> Look here, my friend Jimmy. I know they fear you. At all, at all. I hear say you are kind of fat and you live near Alo. Now, that is double tragedy. <laughs> So tell me, bad boy, when they come for you, what are you going to do? Run? <laughs> Dr. Damage's show is looking for an actress to play the role of the First Lady, Patience Jonathan. No acting experience is needed. Dr. Damage's does not promise riches to the actress. Instead, he promises a tag of instant internet sensation for the successful actress. Because we have never featured Mrs. Patience Jonathan we cannot promise that the successful actress will not end up in a hospital in Germany in a few weeks. Please indicate your interest by sending an email with a headshot to drdamages at gmail.com. If you have comments and email, please send it to my email address, drdamages at gmail.com. Once again, drdamages at gmail.com. We appreciate if you tell us where you are sending your email from, but we will take undisclosed locations. That's our show for today. Until next week, I diagnose. You heal yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to Fosby Luxury Hotel. At Fosby Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24 hour power supply, full air condition, free international calls, free tire pumping service, and free car battery charge. So, what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fosby Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at the Nirobar Michele off Rajirasaki Road, First Estate, Amuo, or the First Estate. For more information or reservation, please call us. 080-75-78-7135 or 080-99-90-0601 You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.forcevhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Forcevhotel, experience the home of comfort. They come, they come, they come.